want to process an array without writing a loop let's see how we'll do that in c++ so the magic is in the transform function and it will take obviously your array as i said so begin and end of your input and then it will take where you want to store the output and the function pointer so there are like four things you can give we'll talk more about this in a bigger video this is a small video so i just want to give you an introduction part here so now you don't have to write the for loop if you want to iterate on these numbers like from begin to end and want to store this operations result you can do this and if you'll print this it is going to print 1 4 9 16 and 25 because it is going to do this with n c++ is moving so fast man and I like so much to have all these things available in C++. I don't know why I like it, but I really like it. So if you also like it, then like the video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos or maybe in the bigger videos of this. Till then, bye bye. Take care.